Hi, welcome to the Buzzing Chat Show here on Buzzing Patea. And today we've got some fantastic questions. Uh, before we get them sat out on my balcony, it's a lovely, cool, early morning here. Um, the birds are, are doing their thing, they're shouting and screaming at each other, not the female type, but the actual feather type. And uh, I'm sure the not gal, uh, where is he? The poor owl bird will be showing his face soon. Uh, if you're not sure what I'm referring to, it's the bird that goes, Paul owl, Paul owl. Oh, it does me head in. And he's down there somewhere. But anyway, let's see. Maybe we can get through the show uh, without him interrupting us. All right, guys. So firstly, thank you so much for sending in all your questions. There's been great questions this week. And uh, if you do have a question that you'd like me to try and answer, then please, you know, drop a comment uh, or either email me 247patea at gmail.com and uh, I will chuck it onto our show and do my best to answer you. All right, well, what a busy week we've had. Um, I've had a mental week, to be honest with you, with my technical stuff. Phone blew up, the new phone I got that was told was all signal dancing, it's a pile of crap, it's rubbish. Um, then the screen went down on me, I got two screens, two monitors, one of them blew up. Then I tried to put a webcam in and me, me, me web guy came over and he went live. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I, I not think I'm live. I'm like, oh God. So yeah, it's been, it's been a week, but anyway, not to worry. So today's questions. Uh, the first question I was sent in was, is the dark side a good place to live, stroke, go out? And I think the, it's, it's a good question, actually, because the dark side is a far cry from the city center for obvious reasons. The dark side is more aimed about people that are here for a long holiday or, you know, I'm saying like three months plus. So if you're here for a long term, three months plus, then I would say, yeah, you know, the dark side is a really good place to hang out simply because it's full of expats, people like me and people that are not into the let's go out and get mullered every night routine. Because to be honest with you, I know you're probably going to think I'm daft when I say this, but in all fairness, it does get a bit boring. <laughs> you know, if, you, if you're on it night after night after night, you know, you're waking up in the morning with a cloudy head, hangover, etc., etc. So, you know, if you're here for kind of like three months plus, I think, personally, and I'm, you know, I'm not being your dad and telling you what you should and shouldn't do, but in fairness, you know, you do need to take it a bit easy because it's very easy to get swept up in the whole emotion of things. And obviously right now, you know, with COVID, the bars are closed, etc. But fingers crossed, that may change in a not too distant future. Um, but yeah, I mean, the dark side's very calm. It's very quiet. It's very relaxed. Uh, we do have bars over there, um, but it's like the old pecking order. You know, you go from like the the premium go goes to the to the beer bars, to the gents clubs, then to the Walking Street Beach Road, and then you end up over here. So I'll let you do your maths on that one. <laughs> Although we do have a few little roses amongst all the thorns. Um, there's a load of restaurants over here, really, really good quality as well. Some fantastic restaurants over here. Um, so, you know, it's kind of like home from home. And the nice thing about it is if you use the Bolt app that I've mentioned in previous videos, you can jump in a car and get into the city centre for less than 100 baht. So it doesn't even matter if it's pouring with rain. You, know, you can still get in a car and come in and it's pennies. Do you know what I mean? It really is pennies. But the good thing about it is you're so far out of the city in that respect that you can forget that that even exists in all honesty. So it does give you a time just to chill out and relax. I mean, I would even go as far as saying if you're here for maybe six weeks, I wouldn't say less than a month, because to be honest with you, the last thing you want to be doing is spending 200 bar a day just to get into town and back. Um, but I think if you're here for like six weeks, three months, upwards and onwards, then for sure, definitely, you know, the dark side is, is a really good place to, to hang out. There's lots of expats in this side of, of uh, the Patea area. So, you know, you will make some good friends, you make some good connections, and it really is like just super chilled out. So yeah, in answer to the question, I think the dark side is a good, good area to live as is Jom Tien. You know, Jom Tien is a bit further down. Um, obviously, the bonus of Jom Tien is they have a beach, whereas we have Mapachan Lake. Um, the beach is really nice. There's a lot of expats live over in Jom Tien and they have a great little network, you know, so maybe instead of the dark side, consider Jom Tien because that might tick a lot more boxes for you, certainly in terms of daytime, if you want to just wander out your, your room or your apartment condo, wherever it is you are down onto the beach. I mean, you're only going to be a stone's throw away from the beach. So, and transportation in, again, you could use Bolt app or perhaps jump on the BART bus. You know, the BART bus into town is, is very frequent and it's, it's pennies. So, uh, you know, have a think about it. Dark side is good, as is Jom Tien. Have a, have a think. Naklua, 
not really somewhere I could advise you on only because I don't really know a lot about that area if I'm being honest I don't hang out that area that much I mean I used to have a friend live over there I'd go and see them quite a lot they have got some nice bars uh, the Blue Marlin bar is a great bar but the actual infrastructure and the network and the people that live over there truthfully I wouldn't want to say because I think I'd be giving you duff information so dark side happy days John Tien definitely to consider all right, so the next question I was sent is, what is a good budget for a day in Patea? Mate, that's a really difficult question to answer because what do you consider to be a good day? Are you the sort of person that wants to go out and, and drink and, and party hard? Are you the kind of guy that likes to chill out in the afternoons and then go out of an evening? Are you like, you know, not that fussed and you just want to enjoy your time here and maybe relax on the beach, maybe meet a companion through one of the, the, the mobile platforms here like Tinder and stuff like that. You know, what do you, what do you want from a day out here? If you're looking to go out and party hard every night, then I would say you need about 10,000 baht per day to go out and party hard. And I say that because if you look at it logically, let's say you're a a mid-afternoon kind of person let's say you you know three four o'clock or five o'clock you want to go out and, and, and enjoy yourself well you know even if you're only drinking say two or three beers every hour then you're already racking up like 500 baht an hour plus maybe plus any companionship drinks and all those kind of things so you know even if you're going to say from like i don't know say four until ten there's six hours there so there's a thousand baht but it isn't going to work like that. You know, we all know that. So if you're going to go into a go-go bars, you know, they are quite obviously a lot more expensive. The drinks are about 140, well, I say 140, I mean, maybe 120 to 170, there or thereabouts, depending on where you're going to go. If you do have the company, uh, somebody join you, you know, their drinks are going to be a lot more expensive. You know, you could even be looking at sort of 200, 220 plus uh, for, for a companion drink. So, you know, again, you're talking like almost 500 baht around there. And of course, don't forget, you've got to eat. So you need to, to put in that factor. And likewise, if you're going to push through the evening and you want some, some, uh, some companionship back in your room, well, then again, you know, you're, you're going to be paying, if, if you're in a go go bar, I mean, you're going to be paying at least 600 baht for the bar fine up. Plus, you know, she's going to want, if it's, if it's a long time, it's going to be a couple of thousand baht, at least I would have said. So, you know, 10,000 baht sounds a lot, and it is a lot in all fairness, um, but it doesn't go a long way. You can have a great time, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't go a long way if you get carried away, if, if you understand where I'm coming from. I mean, if you go out for an evening, you know, say you're going to go out, say, 7 o'clock. I mean, don't forget, you know, people go out, they think, oh, I've got to go out, I've got to go out. Most of your go-go bars don't even open until 7, 8 o'clock anyway, and most of them don't even really get going until sort of like 9, 10 o'clock at night. But having said that, you know, you go to areas like LK Metro, places like that, then obviously there's, there are bars open, you the Billabong and all those kind of places. Um, you know, they're great fun. You can go in there and sit down, meet other people that are either here on holiday or people that live here, etc., etc. So I would say a ballpark figure depending on, on what you like. You know, if you like buying drinks and you like ringing bells and stuff like that, you know, guys, good luck to you, you know, good luck to you, but you're gonna need some dollar in your pocket. And I suppose if you're here for only two weeks or maybe a little bit longer, then that's a very feasible uh, expectation to spend every day. But if you're here for like three months, you know, well, I mean, that's just crazy money. I mean, it, but if, you know, each to their own, I'm not, I'm not judging you. It's your money. You work hard for it. You spend it as you wish. But I would say pretty much 10,000 baht per day is a really good budget to work on. I don't know, guys, what do you, you know, if you don't mind sharing, what's your average spend per day? And, and whoever shares that information, let's not jump on them. Don't start giving it, oh, you're a cheap child, or oh, you're just a two-week millionaire. Listen, guys, everybody, yourself included, you work hard for your money, spend it as you wish. It's your money, you do as you please. But I would say about 10,000 baht per day is a really good budget to aim for. Okay, Paul Hoskins. Now, Paul said to me, what do girls do for fun when not working apart from eating or counting your money? Oh, mate, that's easy, they sleep. <laughs> that's what they do, you know? So you have to understand, right, it's, it's quite weird for us because we're not from Thailand. So we have a very, very different lifestyle back home. 
you know, to sit down day after day after day, sitting around watching TV on your lounge, in your lounge, whatever, it bores the hell out of most people. I'm not saying everyone, but most people. So we look for things to do. We like to be occupied. Now, when I go home to my village up in Karat, on just on the outskirts of Karat, a lot of these girls and the lads are just happy just to sit and do nothing. You know, they really do. They just, they swing in the hammocks or they'll sit on the floor and they'll sleep. You know, they have a very, very different lifestyle to what we used to do back home. So for them, when they're not working, to just chill out and do nothing is perfect. So in terms of eating, yeah, the girls do look, well, not the girls, but everybody, <coughs> all Thai people, they like to graze. I call it grazing. You're like a horse in the field. They just constantly just keep grazing and grazing. So, you know, they do like their food. That's a given. Um, and ironically, I've noticed over the years, and I don't know if you guys have, have seen it as well, but the girls seem to get slightly bigger nowadays. They, they seem to be a little bit more pompoy. Pump so... Um, I don't know why that is. Maybe they're, they're, they're changing their, themselves over, over time. But they do like to eat. They do like to, to count your money, <laughs> as you said. Um, but they like to sleep as well. You know, they're not the kind of people to get up, right, let's go and do something. Because don't forget, again, you know, they go back home. They don't really have the funds to go off and do stuff day after day after day. So again, they don't really expect it. So, you know, <clears throat> I mean, what do they do? They live a very chilled out existence and you know they're very happy with what they've got it's incredible when i go home and i go around like the small parts of our village i'll see like my friends and they'll be laying in the hammock and i'll say right i'm going to go off i'm going to ride my mountain bike i'm going to go and do stuff whatever blah 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 and i'll come back like two hours later and they're still in the hammock <laughs> and i'm like have you not moved no okay have you eaten yes okay cool so you know, don't be offended if they don't want to do a great deal, because really and truly speaking, you know, it, it is what it is. They're very, very content just doing as little as possible and just having a chilled out day. Uh, next question was, why do all the girls say up to you all the time? Now, this is a brilliant question. And it's a brilliant question because it follows on from what I've just been talking about in terms of they don't want to make a decision because they're very concerned that if they make the wrong decision, that you're gonna be offended and that they will then be responsible for that. So for argument's sake, let's just say, uh, you say to your newfound friend, hey, like, should we go to Kolan? And she says yes. And you go over there full of expectations and Kolan doesn't actually end up being anywhere near like you was expecting. Well, then you're gonna have a negative time. And the problem with that is that they will then in turn be thinking, oh no, that's my fault, you know, I've caused him to have a bad day, and they don't like it. They don't like it. Now, talking of don't like, just bear with me a second, I'm just gonna change the camera. So one second, because I've got the sunrise coming up, and now this side of my boat race is bright, and this side is black, which probably isn't a bad thing for this side. But give me one second. All right, there you go, that's a bit better. Now I've got the, the sun in my mince pies, so I can't see a lot. <laughs> um, but no, the girls will say up to you a lot, not because they don't want to, enjoy what you're suggesting or they don't want to go out and have fun of course they do you know it's great for them but what they are looking for is for you to make that decision ultimately because they don't want to be responsible should whatever it is you go off and do uh, not turn out to be as good as perhaps you were expecting so don't take it personally you know it really isn't a bad thing it's just their nature you know do you want to go and do this well I'm up to you and you're sitting there and I do get it you know even now I've been my missus years Years and years, you know, and the stuff that we've already done many, many times. And I'll say to her, I don't know, like, should we go and see mum and dad? Up to you. What do you mean up to me? Come on, do you, you want to go or you don't want to go? You know, should we go up to the Karat Zoo, take the, take the girls up there? Up to you. And it is frustrating. It is frustrating. But then on the other side of the coin, I look at the positives. You know, back home, if I should say to my wife, do you want to go? No, I don't want to go and do that. Well, okay, I'm only asking. You know, well, what do you want to do? I don't want to do anything. Oh, well, then I'll tell you what, let's just wrap it up and sit down, shall we? And then they're oh, not doing a lot today. And I'm thinking, oh, God damn, what's going on? Like, you know, wake up, come on, let's go. So, you know, take everything with a positive attitude because if they don't want to do so, don't get frustrated. You know, just say, okay, well, let's go do this then. Come on, let's go. And go and enjoy it and have fun. So, you know, I do feel for you, it is kind of like annoying, but try not to let it get you down. They're just protecting themselves. They don't want to make a mistake and you have a bad time. So if anything, 
they're kind of protecting themselves as well as trying to help you in a kind of weird Thai way. And there's lots of weird Thai ways here. Uh, right, Jatin Kocha said, long-term rentals, where are best to stay in LK, Soibacal, or on Second Road for long-term rentals? This kind of goes back to what I was just saying about living on the dark side. You know, when you're talking about long-term, are you talking about three months plus? Because if you are, do you really want to be in the, in the hub of activity, in the city centre? Maybe you do, and if you do, fair play, you know, no dramas whatsoever. But for me as an individual, I'll be thinking, oh, I don't want to be doing that. But here's a tip for you. And no matter where you go, and, and even if you're coming here on holiday for, say, a, a month or six weeks, I personally would suggest don't book your hotel until you get here. Book yourself a hotel in the area that you're thinking of staying for a couple of days, purely to give you the opportunity to see, especially if you've never been here before, to see what that area is like. Because, you know, maybe you're a light sleeper, and when things start to return, the last thing you want is music blaring out all night. And it will if you're in the city centre, if you're in like LK metro area. You know, here's a good example, like I Rovers, fantastic location, lovely, lovely rooms. You know, you're smack bang in the centre of LK metro. Fantastic, until it's three o'clock in the morning and Crystal Agogo and the Billabong and, and all the other places are pumping out music as loud as possible and you're trying to get some shut eye because it ain't gonna happen. Unless you are one of these people that can sleep like a rock, you know, your head, head is better, you're gone. Me personally, I'm not that person. So, you know, I need quiet. I need to be able to go to sleep and relax and not have to worry about noise thrashing out and, and don't forget when the go-go bars uh, close at 4 a.m. in the morning all the girls are around if they've had a few beers you know they'll be shouting and screaming etc etc so just bear that in mind you know is that what you're really looking for to answer your question specifically I mean you've mentioned there LK Metro LK Metro you are right in the hub of the activity so prices will vary depending on that but like I've said it is going to be busy and noisy soy bacow if you go down to uh, Soy 19, which is up by the market, the small market there that's on the Soy Bacow, if you're heading towards Padia Klang Way, um, if you go up Soy 19, there's some really nice uh, apartments there where you can rent, and they're cheap as, you know, you can, you can rent an apartment for four and a half thousand baht, and it's very quiet up there, and of course you're only just a little walk away from the city centre from all the activity, so that would be a good area to go, Soy 19 around that area. Second Road, uh, I mean, Second Road, you have got some nice big hotels there, you've got some nice big apartment blocks, and you are on the very centre of, of the city centre. So again, you know, Second Road is a good place to, to have a look around. Um, you know, it really is horses for courses. It's a difficult question to answer because I don't really know you as an individual as to what you're expecting. So I would suggest, you know, just go and check the area out first, make sure it's ticking all your boxes, Make sure that if, it, if you do want to sleep at night, you know, I know it sounds daft, but go back there at like one o'clock in the morning and just have a look around and listen. Go back there at two or three in the morning, preferably not bladdered because then you're not really going to remember what you remembered, <laughs> what you saw. Um, but just do your homework, you know. The nice thing about it right now is, as you know, obviously being through the COVID what we're in and the current lockdowns and restrictions, you know, when you do come back over, there will be a huge amount of opportunities here for places to stay. So don't think you've got to jump on the first one that you can see. Take your time, have a look around and see what's out there. Uh, lastly, the question is, where do I see the Thai bar ending? Now, first and foremost, foremostly, right, I have got no idea how it even works. And I'm being honest, you know, guys, I've never been into that side of things. You know, if it's up, it's up. If it's down, it's down. Story of my life, really. <laughs> um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it is it is what it is. So I don't really understand it. So, you know, when I first came here, I mean, I think I was getting 64, I think, 63, 64, something like that. When I came here to live, I was getting 55, 56. The last couple of years, it's been on its ass around like 39 and 40. Why it does that, truthfully, I don't know. None of my business, I, I wouldn't waste my energy even beginning to try to understand it, because I don't. Right now, I'm making another video, we're at 44, I think, 44.2. Um, it'd be lovely if it got to 45, it'd be fantastic if it got to 50. The trouble is, is I don't know how this stock market stuff works and how the, the money fluctuates, never been my bag. So, I mean, I think that the end result has to be 
it will end when it ends. Cash your money up when you think you're getting yourself a bargain. It's a bit like a gamble, isn't it? Oh, do I wait another day or shall I, shall I jump in now? And you, you know, if you're like me, you jump in now and tomorrow it goes up by another two bar and you think, bloody hell, you know, I could have waited. Or you wait and then it crashes and you think, oh, why didn't I do it yesterday? So it's a, it's a difficult one to answer, my friend, in all honesty. Where would I like it to be? 45? Love it to be 50. Will that happen? Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know. What do you guys think? You know, I'm sure there's people out there that have forgotten more than I even know about how this works. So, you know, what, what do you think, guys? Where do you think that the tie bar will stabilize? What, what's your predictions? All right, guys. So that's it for today. Um, that's all the questions. Like I say, if you do want any questions answering, please, you know, drop a comment below or send me an email, 247 at gmail.com. Uh, coming up this week, uh, tomorrow, 5 a.m. Bangkok time. Yes, I do get up at silly o'clock in the morning. But 5 a.m. Bangkok time on Thursday will be our live stream. Please join. It's a great chat. We have a lot of fun. Friday is part two of our Heaven Above interview with the owner, Greg. He's a smashing guy, lovely guy. Been here a long, long, long time and has one of the most respected and the most talked about uh, gentlemen's clubs here uh, in the Patea City area. So please join us for that. Now, Saturday, I'm going to throw something out there. Now, don't switch off. Don't think, oh, God, what a load of rubbish. I'm going to do a quiz, but it's a quiz with a difference. Only in the case of I'm going to ask you a question See if you know the answer to the question, but then I will explain the answer to the question. So it's going to be quite a lot more advice and tips and stuff like that. Um, it will, it's not going to be question, question, question. It will be a bit of fun. Um, so hopefully you'll learn something out of the, uh, the answers as well as uh, test your knowledge and see how well do you know the city that we call, what well, I call home. All right, guys. Oh, I think my poor Lau is going to wake up in a minute. Is he... Oh, we're getting there, we're getting there. Can you hear that? <laughs> I love it. You know, in the mornings, they chat away to each other and they squawk and squeal. And Down there, I've got a load of chickens down there and they, they go on, etc., etc. But anyway, it's all going on. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Please check out our members area. Uh, more and more members are joining each and every week, which is fantastic. Thank you so much for all your support. It really is much, much appreciated. Uh, once things start to reopen, which we're currently in the process of doing right now, the restaurants are allowed to, to uh, open until 11 o'clock at night. So I am gonna go out there and uh, speak to them and say, look guys, you know, if, I, if I get a buzzing member come in, can you please offer them some kind of discount just to get you, know, you guys through the door and give them a chance to get into some business and join our telegram group there's lots and lots of like-minded people just like you that are throwing out questions and answers and stories and pictures and goodness knows what else it's just a bit of fun but there's loads and loads of people on there all right that's it for me today thank you so much for watching and please as always wherever you are in the world stay safe